Well, let's go. Let's learn the hard way. Uh, what is this? Frontier? Nope. All right. Let's go get our cannons. Come aboard and feast your eyes, boy. No, 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 no. Not the left foot. Never the left foot. Horrible look. Step with your right foot first. She is... solid? Aye. Weatherly and sleek. She'll fetch twelve knots in a stiff gale, ne'er a ship from here to Singapore can outrun her on her best day. What do you say we take her out and show you what she can do first hand? Where would we go? As it happens, she still needs guns and the officers to command them. We'll launch straight away. <laughs> Don't worry, lad. I'll make sure you sprout good sea legs. All in the mainsail! Get up the rigging! And over, fist! Come on, men! Let's get her out where she needs to be! Awesome. Of the ship side of things. Fantastic. Come on, lad. No time like the present. Take the helm. Take the wheel, let's go. Double time, boy. Come on, come on, she won't bite. Half sail. Do ah, I take any damage? Yeah, killer flies again. Do you feel it, lad? Set a course for Martha's Vineyard. We'll find our guns and officers there. She's a nimble vessel, but the faster she goes, the more cumbersome she grows. And the firmer your hand needs to be. Enjoy this stretch of open water before we come upon those shallows. Call for full sail if you like. Sail through the channel. Wind looks to be shifting. Stay alert, Connor. Dusty winds can be difficult to manage. Natural, Connor. Love how they give us those. Little... Down, beware the sandbars. Now, take us through these shallows. Careful not to run up on them. The sandbars will slow us down, but the rocks will put a hole through a hole. And if you want to make a quick tack, call for half sail. She's more maneuverable then. Right, let's just get through this area. Again, I want to do as many of these challenges as possible. We, need more speed. Yeah, we should be able to just go now. Mind those other vessels. Hold your tack to keep your right of way. Hey, let's go. Yeah, we don't want to end up like that one over there. Or one to our left there. Hey, so far so good. Oh, crap. 
crap. I think we slowed down when we did. damage cottages we're close dock at the pier Got we'll it. go ashore, buy our guns, and find our officers. Oh, hello, Miss Mandy. You're looking every bit as ravishing as I remember. <laughs> After all these years, you sail all the way to the vineyard to pay me compliments. We are looking for David and Richard Clutterbuck. <laughs> nice to see you too. Robert Faulkner. Where the hell you been? Sorry for leaving like I did, lads, but where I was going, no one could know. You two working much? No. Between contracts at the moment. Well, we're looking for gunnery officers. What would you two say to working with me again? We'd be for getting into a few more scraps. <laughs> <laughs> Good show. The Aquila is a fine vessel. We're fitting all the guns as we speak. Looks like your friend's about to catch a beating. Where is Charles Lee? I don't much care for your tone, boy. Hey, you don't want to be doing that, Fiddle. Bobby Faulkner turned to wet nursing. <laughs> it's good you finally realize you're a shite sailor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not in here, gentlemen. Better still, not at all. Bobby, take your friends and get out! Let's go, boys. Our guns ought to be ready. Come on. Taking the wheel again. Okay, I approached it and pressed circle. What the heck? That was weird. The older man is a Templar. Who was he with? Templar? The young buck was Nicholas Biddle. Nobody. Sails before the mast. Midshipman for the crown. Are the guns ready? Aye, but we won't jump in over our heads. We'll find a suitable target and show you how they work. We've fitted her with a modest amount of guns to start, but rest assured there's ample room to add more should you feel the need. Hey, we're gonna become, uh... Leader of the ship, the captain of the ship. Looks like a British frigate with half seas over. Should do nicely for a spot of target practice. Bring around broadside, and when all guns are on target, call fire. Well, 
done, boy! Now, aim all guns at her bow and do as much damage as possible. Nice. You missed. Best bring her round again. guns a turn more precise hit those old powder barrels and light up the sky Learner. Provided something interests me. Ah. Getting a taste for the open sea, are we? We'll make a jack tar out of you yet. Now we should be getting back. The old man is like to have my hide for keeping you out so long. Alright, let's go. This is awesome. I love this. Now the question is, will we run into a ship and have to sink them? Yep. Why is he shooting at us? Destroying property of the crown, disturbing the king's peace, take your pick. What do we do? Naught else but to fight back. Sink the bastard. Use the swivels on him, Captain. Holy crap. Be twattled another one. Where in the bloody hell did she come from? Okay. Not gonna be easy.
after us again here. Got him. The Zeri Vagri literally just almost died. <laughs> Carry on, Sailor. Not bad for your first voyage, eh, boy? Best be getting back at the old man will have my guts for garters. Not bad for our first ship battle. We almost died, but I mean, hey. Sometimes you gotta learn the hard way. I got them! All of them! You get what I need, and I'll give them to you. Simple. You got a ship. Could find them all to boot. Who is that man? Him? Some old salt always on about letters he's got from Captain Kidd. Nonsense, really, but he doesn't hurt no one, so I'll leave him be. Talk to him if you fancy, but be warned he'll chew your ear off. Anyway, the Aquila's here for you. If you should get a pang for the open sea, we'll be waiting. Now I implore you to head up the hill before the old man comes out of retirement just for me. <laughs> oh man. He weeks. And not even a goodbye before you left. Sorry. Well, what are you waiting for? Put them on. Once upon a time, we had a ceremony on such occasions. But I don't think either of us are really the type for that. You've your tools and training, your targets and goals. And now you have your title. Welcome to the Brotherhood, Connor. Yes, we got the assassin's outfit. Now the fun begins. Welcome back, Desmond. You'll be happy to hear there's actually good news for once. Yeah? I've managed to locate a power source, and it's relatively close by. Up for a trip to Manhattan? Is it safe to leave? Abstergo's gotta be looking for us. Obviously it's not safe. Can't exactly sit around here hoping to get lucky, though, can we? We need that power source. Besides, I'm sure you can cook up some way to hide our movements. Maybe. The Templars have access to all kinds of satellites and camera systems. We'll need to find a way to mask our digital signature. I can probably camouflage the van, too. But there's not much I can do for us. That's an easy one. have assured the public that they're completely prepared for the upcoming solar maximum. Disruptions to service are expected to be minimal. If only they knew. What's this? A remote-operated camera. It'll provide us with a feed while you're on mission. This will let us talk to each other. We're almost there, so listen up. The artifact is in an office penthouse in Lower Manhattan. 
At this time of night, direct infiltration is gonna get you noticed. I think we're better off having you drop in from above. What do you mean, above? Testing, one, two, three. Yep, reach you just fine. Now why don't you power up the camera? I've got pictures, running diagnostics. Perfect, I've got a nice strong signal. That's a strong signal? <laughs> Go. Why did it not let us jump to that? Originally where I was aiming. Sean? Fuck you. <laughs> they freak. Like, my, uh, not so much dislike, major dislike of heights really came into play there for a second. I was just like, oh my. Holy crap. I really hope this parachute doesn't fail us, assuming that's it. serious clenching going on right now. Jesus. Look on the bright side. No security to worry about. Watch, she's gonna say that. There's... Bright side. The slightest misstep means you're effectively uh, paced. Shut up, Sean. <laughs> you're effectively paced. Well, I could be used to help wallpaper the inside of the building after. Holy! Thought <laughs> my life flashed before my eyes right there. It's not even real. Crap! How the hell do I get back up now? go for this. <laughs> I really hate this. 
Almost there, Desmond. Once you reach the top of the lit up crane, you should be high enough to make the jump. Should? It'll be fine. Don't worry. I'm freaking worrying. Well, you might want to worry a little. I'm pretty sure she was high when she was running the numbers. Sean! <laughs> joke. It was a joke. Or was it? <laughs> You're not helping, Sean. Shut up. <laughs> Oh my god, can we not swing through and just get into the ladder? I'd feel so much more, you know, secure. Oh. Jump when you're ready, but wait for my signal to open the chute. Timing's really important here. Too soon or too late and you'll miss the building. the landing pad. I'm assuming. Yeah. Exactly what I expected. But I guess your kind doesn't have many options these days. Who are you? Ask your father. Now give me that. I don't think so. Look, I'm not supposed to kill you, but the boss man didn't say anything about fucking you up. So you got to the count. <laughs> So who the hell is Daniel Cross? Believe it or not, he used to be an assassin. The assassin, the way I've heard it told, but it turned out he was a sleeper agent for Abstergo, programmed to infiltrate and destroy the organization. How did he know you were there? We could be compromised. They must have caught me snooping inside their network and sent Cross to see what we were after. If they were aware of our current location, we'd know. Though, I will say this, it doesn't bode very well for future expeditions. I've set up some cameras topside. If anyone shows up, we'll see it. I'd suggest you go see about finding a socket for that power source. Or we can return to Connor if you prefer. All the artifacts in the world won't mean a thing without the key. Okay. Get back to it. Good luck, Desmond. These are troubled times. The already uneasy alliance between the Crown and its subjects frays. And behind them both the Templars plot, pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order through control. But how will they affect it here? Who, who supports them? And what conspiracies have they already spun? All these things I must determine. For only by knowing my enemy can I hope to stop them. Connor! Spare a moment. Of course. Have a look. What is it? A Xing Bao, or rope dart if you prefer. One of the many plans given to us by Xiao Yun to... Sorry. We'll have to work on this. Come. 
Onondogo. Yes, my friend. What brings you here? Is the village all right? For now. What do you mean? What has happened? Men came, claiming we had to leave. They said that the land was being sold and that the Confederacy had consented. We sent an envoy, but they would not listen. You must refuse! We cannot oppose the Sachem, but you're right as well. We cannot give up our home. Do you have a name? Do you know who is responsible? He is called William Johnson. Where is Johnson now? In Boston, making preparations for the sale. Sale? This is theft! Connor, take care. These men are powerful. What would you have me do? I made a promise to my people. If you insist upon this course of action, seek out Sam Adams in Boston. You'll be able to help. What have you done? When my people go to war, a hatchet is buried into a post to signify its start. When the threat is ended, the hatchet is removed. Uh, you could have used a tree. All right, let's go. The story just beginning. 